Corinne, Corinne, Corinne. <laughs> so did you enjoy your experience on The Bachelor? Totally. You did? I did. You're, you had no regrets? No, uh, I, no. OK, now when we're watching it, is that the real you? Is that, would you say that's a great representation of yourself? Um, that is the real me. It is definitely a real side of me. Mm -hmm. um, but there are many other sides mm -hmm. to me. Um, what that si I, what um, sides didn't we see? Well, I am an older we sister. We saw the front side. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. You did. Um, well, I'm an older sister. I, am a, I run a business. Mm -hmm. I am an athlete. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I work out every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a trainer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I just I think that you'll see a lot more of Corinne mm -hmm. as the season In goes what on. way do you mean that? <laughs> Clothed. Okay, all right. Clothed. Well, I have to say that this past Monday, both Portia and I said, Corinne is, is acting more normal. Like, we, we thought you were actually, <laughs> we were like, oh, I see a different side of Corinne. And because in the beginning, come on, you're watching it now back. Don't you think you were crazy? <laughs> I mean, the, the other girls in the house, I mean, don't you see the side where they could maybe think that? You must see that. <clears throat> well, I definitely was um, watching it back. I'm funny. Like, I think you I'm funny. You are. You're very entertaining. <laughs> I actually really laugh very hard at myself. I'm like, wow, I didn't even know I was that funny. But um, I, wait, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Watching it back, you're entertaining. Yes, OK. So I, I was a little bit more promiscuous than uh -huh. I thought mm -hmm. I would look. Uh-huh. Um, Were you drunk? I mean, that's the thing. They give you a lot of liquor on that show, right? They, they get you all liquored up. There is alcoholic beverages. Right. Um, but I didn't know my limit. I never, you know, took it too far where I would, like, black out or anything like that. So. Oh, good. That's great. That's a good line. That's, that's a great line to draw for yourself of blacking out. So, and, and why did you do The Bachelor? Because you seem like, you know, I mean, it, it, were you having a hard time meeting guys? Um, well, I was in a long relationship. It was very stressful, and um, I kind of just got out of that, and then, you know, things just fell into place with the show, and I just thought it was a really great opportunity to just, you know, put myself out there and, you know, kind of, like, have fun with it. And, mm -hmm. and the, the final question I have for you, maybe not the final, um, but uh, why do you have a nanny? <laughs> Raquel is actually, she works with my family. She's been with us for 18 years. Mm -hmm. um, she moved with us to Florida from New Jersey. She's kind of like my everything. She, you know, raised my sister. She helped my mom through cancer. She's just, she's great. She's part of our family. She's not like my nanny, like my babysitter. Yeah, but didn't you say she was your nanny? Yeah, I mean, nanny is kind of like a word that I use for her because I don't, I, I have a lot of respect for her and, you know, mm -hmm. she's kind of like a mother figure to me. So I don't really like to say, like, cleaning lady or housekeeper. Mm -hmm. I, so, you know, nanny to me is kind of a more respectful word mm -hmm. for her because right. I really do love her and she right. is a very big part of my life. Yeah, but didn't you see when you're saying nanny that people would look at you as a 24 year old mm. and say, because, you know, I understand now when you explain it that way, but you didn't explain it that way before. So people are thinking, at 24, you have a nanny. Yes. Now, looking I, back, right? Yes, I definitely could have explained it better, yes. Right. But now you have, and now we know that. And yes. Raquel's part of your family, and that's fantastic. Yes. Hi, Raquel. 